Jokic has to put it up. Falling away, puts it up. Bang! Nikola Jokic knocks it down. His foot was on the line. A two-pointer. What a shot. Three. Butler with Brogdon on him. It's a long three. And good. Oh, Jimmy freaking Butler puts it in. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for rocking out with your boy. It's been a very long season. I could definitely use a break, but nevertheless, the most exciting time of the year for all my basketball fans out there at the professional setting. We have made it to the NBA Finals, and this year's edition features the eighth-seeded Miami Heat taking on the one-seeded Denver Nuggets. Cannot wait to tune in and watch the two best teams in this playoffs duke it out for a legacy-changing moment for most of these dudes. See who can win that Larry O'Brien trophy. So it is time for me to make my very much-anticipated prediction for the NBA Finals. Let the record show this has been one of my worst years with predictions ever. I never get as many predictions as I've gotten wrong this year. I never let that happen. It's been an off year with me. It's been some very unusual things that have happened. No excuses, though. I thought about this long and hard. I thought about these two team style of plays. I tried to go look at some regular season matchups. You can pretty much throw them out. I mean, there's a few guys that meant a lot to these games that they played that no longer are on the rosters. I mean, you you could really throw out these regular season games. There's not a lot there. To me, the biggest thing that's happened over the last couple of years between the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat was that ugly injury from Markeith Morris at the hands of Nikolai Jokic with that ugly shove that pretty much cost Markeith like a whole year. He still ain't really fully recovered from that. It felt like that's really the biggest thing that's happened. Jokic's brothers got involved. It was a thing. They went to Miami. Nothing happened, but Jokic's brothers came to the game. That's the biggest thing between these two teams. Obviously, not a lot there. But again, we're competing for a championship, so we expect a lot to get there quickly. I am going to pick to win this series Nikola Jovic and the Miami Heat. You heard me, ladies and gentlemen. I am going against the grain. The Denver Nuggets have proved me wrong. Two straight series, and damn it, they're going to make it, have to make it three in a row. I am picking the underdogs to win this series in seven games, I am rolling with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat to get it done. The reality is I'm a damn fool for making this prediction. Every stat you will find will tell you that the Denver Nuggets are the heavy favorites in this series. They got the best player on the planet right now. Jamal Murray is clearly the best number two in this series. He's hands and shoulders better than Bam out of Bayou, his fellow Kentucky comrade it ain't even close and if you look up and down these rosters the Denver Nuggets got dudes that been there done that dudes that have been hooping their entire lives and the Miami Heat got a bunch of guys that went undrafted or have been slept on their entire lives if you look at these rosters up and down the Denver Nuggets got the edge pretty much every step of the way. Miami just played a long, grueling seven-game series. Emotions were high. They started up 3-0, let Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics get back back into that series, force a decisive game seven. Miami looked good in Boston, but let's keep in mind they really only had about two, three days rest. They had to travel to Denver, Colorado because they were the eighth seed and take on Jokic and the Nuggets that have been resting comfortably for pretty much 10 days now, taking care of the Los Angeles Lakers quickly. Yet one series go four games, the other win seven games. Those are literally the two most contrasting parallels that you can have in a series. I am an idiot for picking 
the Miami Heat, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to take my L's on the chin and chalk this up to a bad year if I'm wrong. Look, the reality is I got a lot of Serbian fans that follow this platform because they love some Nikola Jokic. The truth of the matter is I don't like most of them. I'll be honest with you, I don't. Now, there are some really cool Jokic fans out there that I like a lot. We've gotten to know each other behind the scenes. I like you guys. I want to come to Serbia and have a drink with you guys. But the reality is there are a lot of unreasonable Jokic fans that piss me off day in and day out on this platform, and they know it's nothing serious. It's all love. We're just playing, talking hoops here. They know I got respect for their guy, but I don't want to root with these dudes. They eliminated my Los Angeles Lakers Easily, they just dominated my squad, and I just don't see myself a couple days later now rooting with the Nuggets after what they did to my Lakers. Again, I am telling you guys, I am picking with straight stupidity and not my head, and I'm typically a guy that always picks with my head. You never see me go out on a limb and pick against my better judgment, but I'm doing this as a one-off. It's already been a bad year with me and picks, so I don't really have a lot to lose. So I am picking the Miami Heat to win an NBA championship seven games. And to get it done, look, I don't got a thousand X's and O's for you. The reality is the Miami Heat just going to have to play harder than the Nuggets. I think it's important for Miami to get one of these two games in Denver. Let's call a spade a spade. They're probably going to be tired as hell in game one. Coming off the series they just came off of, I think the game to get is game two. You get game two, that series shifts back to a cool, calm, and collective South Beach. There's a lot of rest in between these games. They didn't have these dudes go every other day throughout the playoffs. And the finals was about two days rest between every game. So I believe if the Heat can get game two, by game three, they should be well rested to get into this series. Will the Denver Nuggets come off their rest that they've had rusty? Or will they look like that well-oiled machine that they've looked like pretty much this entire postseason? Because they have pretty much dominated Every team that's been in front of them, that's included the young stars like Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, the old stars like Chris Paul for a game and a half, Kevin Durant, another young star in Devin Booker, and they definitely dominated LeBron James and Anthony Davis, two old, old, old stars. So, yes, Denver looks great. They're the favorites. They should win this championship. But I'm going against my better judgment. I'm going with the Miami Heat in seven games.